Hello friends and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to do a review about the Blackout Notebook from Archer & Olive as well as some Acrylograph swatches. If you don't know, I am affiliate with Archer & Olive and the book that I'm using is this lovely Dragon Notebook in Black Pages. If you want to get anything from Archer & Olive, make sure to use my discount code DANOSBUJO10 for 10% discount. This way you'll be helping me supporting my channel and I will earn a small commission if you do so, at no extra cost. Right now I'm doing a flip through of my 2022 uh, bullet journal flip setup that I will link the video in the description down below. So after saying everything, let's start with the pen test of Archer and Olive. But before I do the pen test, I'm going to set up the topics that I want to include in this video which are a pen test, uh, well, where includes a gel pen, white acrylic pens, gold pens and silver pens and a paint test that includes metallic watercolors, gouache with less water and more water, metallic pencils and a stamp test. So right now I'm setting the titles that I just said and I'm going to start by saying what pens I used in what topic. Starting up with the gel pen test, I decided to swatch a, a white gel pen from Sakura, the Jelly Roll in the size 08 and it works wonderfully in this um, paper. I also tried Uniball Signal in white gel pen and this one was not my favorite honestly, but I had here and I wanted to test it, but it's not as well as good as the Sakura Jelly Roll that I tried before. Um, Next I tried Sakura Jelly Roll in gold and honestly this is not my favorite gold gel pen that I used. So I'm going to skip that one but I think that it's al already um, waste or it got some time before I used it so it has like two years left so I, I take advantage or I give him the benefit of the doubt. Next I used the gel pens from both the Neon collection and the December subscription box. I start with the December subscription box gel pens that includes a white, a pink, a green, a blue and a mix slash turquoise gel pens that work wonderfully. I love Archer & Olive gel pens so I will link them in the description down below as well as everything that I'm going to use obviously. And I also swatched the neon uh, gel pens that includes uh, a neon yellow, red, purple, blue, green and orange that work wonderfully as well. For the white acrylic pens I, s I used the Archer & Olive white acrylograph in a size 07 and it's wonderfully, works wonderfully. And the Uniposca and Artistro white acrylic paint that I also own. So far the, the only white acrylic acrylic pens that I like are the Archer & Olive and the Artistro ones. I also have a, a, an affiliate code with Artistro that is Danos Bojo and you also get 10% discount at uh, in the checkout if you use it. Ok, I am in the video talking about uh, making the watercolor so I'm going to speed a little bit faster. For the gold pens I use a Stadler gold marker, an Archer & Olive gold acrylograph and Artistro gold acrylic pen paint. And my favorite is the Arch & Olive Gold acrylic Acrylograph that is wonderful for this paper and the yellow, the yellow of the gold is perfect. For silver pens I use the Stadler Silver Marker in the size 1, to two, one or 2, the Arch & Olive Silver Acrylograph and Artistro Silver Acrylic Paint and again my favorite pen to use for silver details or pen markers is the Arch & Olive Acrylographs. And I'll move to acrylographs soon, so let's start with the watercolors. I decided to swatch my Gansai Tambi gold um, paint set, watercolor paint set and the pearl collection. I think that the gold one is called Starry Night or Starry Dreams, called, um, something like that. For the gouache I started with less water and I just did some white and blue and honestly it works wonderfully on this paper it's really opaque and saturated so I really like that and when I tried with gouache with more water the saturation and the, the being opaque is less noticeable it's more translucent than I I kind of was expecting that but yeah that's just a test for the metallic pencils, I use the, the metallic pencils that comes on the subscription box. 
and for stamps I use the silver um, stamps that I use on my January plan with me that I will also link in the description down below because I did a lovely magical snow team and I am really proud of that team. So these are the review of the black pen in terms of pen and paint. The paper is 160 GSM paper, it's black and the dots are really lovely. So let's start with the acrylographs. Here's my stationary box where I store my acrylograph pens and I'm going to start saying what what were the colors in which set and just a spoiler alert, I loved all the colors in black papers and I'm going to start. For the metallic collection I swatched the amethyst, citrine, emerald, lapis, rose gold, mauve, ruby, graphite, silver and gold. Those are the metallic um, acrylographs that are available at Archer and Olive's website. And side note, Archer and Olive is currently having a sale or a promotion if you want to call that that if you buy one set of acrylographs, you'll get another one 75% discounted or off. I don't know how to say in terms of marketing. So take advantage of that if you are interested in any acrylograph set. Moving on, primary, there's colors like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, brown and black. And this is my favorite uh, primary colors, like they are really saturated and opaque and I really like that. For tropical collection I have here pink, orange yellow, lime green, mint, teal, pool blue, bright purple and cool grey. I am amazed with the situation of the acrylographs in black paper, I was expecting them to be a little bit more translucent, but it's not the case, it's actually really amazing for black paper and I really like to use it for some themes. Moving on for the jewel collection, we have peach, dusty rose, ma maroon, moss green, sky blue, indigo, mustard and olive. Like I said before, really saturated colors as far as the other and the rest. I love the mustard color, it's really beautiful, it's like that color, that yellow, I don't know, it's just li really lovely. Next is the Cool Fall Collection, and this includes Midnight Moonlight, Blue Willow, Sweet Melon, Brick Red, Robin's Egg Blue, Muff Wing, Cocoa and Pine Green. To be honest, my favorite color from this set is Muff Wing and maybe Brick Red. I love these colors to use on my vintage themes and it's really like the perfect colors for that. And the Cocoa one as well. For One Fall Collection we have Warm Dark Mulberry. Pink, Goldenrod, Plum, Coral, Forest Green, Dusty Mint and Lavender. I think that this might be more my color palette on the go. I love the colors, but this is not my favorite collection from all of them. But I really like the colors and I used some of them for more vintage themes. For the spring collection we have Vernal that includes Camellia, English Rose, Buttercup, Primrose, Blue Stars, Ginger, Peony and Gold. And for the Awakening Collection, Blue Bell, Sage, Sunflower, Allium, Allium, Mist, Silver, Pink Bow and Jardin. In Portugal we call it Jardin, but Jardin. <laughs> and to be honest, my favorite co uh, collection from the Spring Collection is the Awakening one. The colors are more muted and I love that aesthetic. For Spellbind we have Blue, Heather, Vintage Rose, Wisteria, uh, Boysenberry, Steel Blue, Mist Flower, Shroom, Midnight Navy, Cedar Yellow and Viridian. This is my Halley, I love the colors, they are again muted but the color combination is amazing for teams and I think that I used this, this collection for my November team. I don't really remember, but it's really wonderful. And lastly, the Bewitch collection, which includes Parchment, Blush Pink, Crimson, The Faux Deal, uh, Prus Prussian Blue, Asparagus, Canyon Red, Gold Moss, Blood Orange and Dewberry. I really love this collection that is from, from fall 
and if you ask my favorite collection will be Spellbind and Bewitch and maybe some of the metallics. But here I just had a problem that with my acrylograph that I think that uh, the ink wasn't like getting out of the, the, the acrylograph and I switched the nibs that is included in the box set so in case you, you see that there's trouble with your acrylographs you have always the option to switch the nibs which is amazing. I didn't include just the Piper collab and the Plant Based Bright collab because I didn't get the, the acrylographs at the time. But this is my Archer and Olive acrylograph and black paper review. I hope you like this video, it is a short one and more informative, but I really love this notebook and this is my notebook for 2022. So stay tuned for my themes and I think that's it. Leave a pen um, emoji if you made this far and I'll see you in the next video. So bye friends and have a lovely 2022. <laughs>